G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Jean Woodle, and welcome to Aska. This is a brand new Nordic themed, Viking themed survival game that I'm absolutely chomping a the bit to get into. And if judging by how many people in comments to other videos have been requesting this game, I think you guys are chomping at the bit as well. But I'm stoked. I love Viking games. I, I love Valheim so much. In fact, going all the way back to Age of Mythology, I have been right into that whole Nordic mythological kind of idea. So this one really seems to be floating my boat. Just like that one right there. It's probably not doing much to like quench my excitement, but I'm filming this on my birthday. This game is my birthday present to me, which is always a good thing. So I'm going to go and jump straight into this. Brand new game. I, I've only really watched the trailers of this, which is why I'm kind of excited about it. Because it's not just like a survival game. There's a whole like city building, tribe building mechanic to it as well. Like you get followers that work in your town while you go off and be a super cool Viking. What more could you possibly ask for? Uh, that is apparently my seed. New game. Uh, what, ooh, what am I going to call myself? What's going to be my Viking name? You know, we're going to harken back, harken back to the Valheim days and call myself Jarl Woodle because I'm the Jarl of the whole world. Character. Also, ask us her name. <laughs> That's how little I know of it. That's how fresh I'm coming into this. I didn't even realize that, that was a thing. So ask us her name. Ragnar is his name. And I, oh, I have character customization. Tick one in the box. We're already cracking on. Well, the game's called Asuka. I should probably use Asuka. That seems about right. Oh, 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 look at that. Already got a contender for game of the year. We can have per Oh, we can have purple hair. And what a good color purple it is too. Not that washed out yuck stuff. That's that's proper vibrant purple. That is, I'm, I'm sold. I was already sold before, but I definitely am now. What, what hairstyle are we going to give? I very rarely make female characters, so this is going to be an experiment to what just kind of tickles my fancy right off the bat. I kind of like that. I kind of like that, though. It's like my silly Woodle flip, but much, much longer. It's like the Woodle flip I had in lockdown when I couldn't get a haircut for two years, so that seems about right. Yeah, that's sick. I feel like they saw me coming a mile off. I can, not only can I have purple hair, I can match that purple through my tattoos. Sold. <laughs> I'm... I'm having a good time already, and the sun's only just set on the opening menu. That's, that's, this is a good sign for me. All right, I've got my purple lass all kitted up and decked out in all sorts of purple things, so let's go start and drop straight into it. I'm really curious about how, like, the opening mechanic is going to work with this. Like, how does this game work before you have followers in your, like, in your city, in your town? Because that seems like a pretty, a pretty crucial part of the, uh, com part, part of this or component. Farming is all about using the right seeds at the right time of year. Yeah, see, there's like, there's more to it. It's not just your normal survival game. In the days before, the gods gave us the spark of ambition. This one has exposition. Sleep the fires of creation. They gave us a world of our own, a home. They made us builders, warriors. Legends. They gave us everything. But our hubris overcame us. We thought ourselves to be gods instead. We tore apart their memory. And so we were punished. Everyone, everything cast into the fire. But some of us were spared. to start again. Right. Okay. Oh, calm down, you big bony transformer dude. All right, so all about ruined my ship and just stood there to watch and gloat. All right, see you later. He's off to go fight Godzilla or something on the other side of the ocean and just left me to my own devices. But, okay. So we come come out of a shipwreck. I've got I've got no gear. I've got some water on me, which is probably pretty good. The gods decree construct the eye of Odin and rebuild your tribe. All right, all right. <laughs> I'm just I'm just ogling the world at the moment. It's pretty it's bright. It's vibrant. What is what are you? Do I have a a wisdom wisp? Oh my goodness. We're in we're in brave. I have to work on my archery skills. My curly red hair. Are you, are you like a Navi? Hey, listen! 
Press Z to find resources near you. The gods bless you with the ability to find important resources nearby. Use this regularly as it reveals nearby creatures and also can be helpful in the darkness. Cheers for that. So I have... I've got eagle vision. I've got Ezio vision. You bloody beauty. Hold E together. Nice. Okay. Look at it. Look at me. Look at me learning things and reading on-screen props. It's a whole new Woodle. So interestingly, with like the gather animation, like you have to do like the squat down and pick up. Even though I just pulled the reeds out, she still does the drop down and pick up off the ground animation. The same as when you grab like a rock or something, which does also stop you in your footsteps. You can't just like smoothly run over it and pick it up. It's not a, a massive deal, but something that I've noticed right off the bat. There's another, another pebble out here. Oh! And a bloody twig fish. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No, don't, don't, don't stop. Don't stop when there's a bloody monster of the deep chasing you. Well, I thought an angler fish was ugly. This thing's coming for the crown. Look at you. You're like a tree crossing a frilled neck lizard crossing a freaking tulip bulb. Um, I need, okay, I'll, I'll deal with you later. I'll go and get my gardening shears in a little bit. I have to get back to the boats. Look at you, though. What a cool design. I love that it's like it's grounded in like Norse mythology, just like Valheim was, with a bit of a different take on it. Yeah, you just wait. You just wait in the reeds. I'll, I'll plant you in a moment. There's another stick mermaid up on the hill. Up, oh, oh, it's not up on the hill anymore. Um, um, just there. Sure, that'll do. No, go away. Can I like, can I punch you to death? Oh, I can. And I can dodge you back again. Oh, bud. Oh, bud. I wash up on the shore. I'm going to wreck you. Just... <laughs> it's, it's like Minecraft all over again. Just punch a tree and eventually you get some materials. Is that is is that the most efficient way to harvest wood? Probably not. Is it the most satisfying? Absolutely. The wispies approve as well. I'm going to build my campfire a little bit up from the beach. Just so I have a little bit more space. This sort of clearing will do nicely. Uh, supply. I'm missing... What am, I, what am I missing? Does it tell what I'm missing? No. Oh, yeah, that does on the bottom. Okay, so I need one more of that kind of wood and five more of the other kind of wood. Fair enough, then. Do I have, like, a crafting menu or something? I can get, like, some tools. Info. God's favor. Settlement forage. Okay, there's a, there's a, there's a lot. There's a lot to explore in that menu in a moment. It's going to have to wait, though. This bloody wispy thing keeps yelling at me to make a fire, which I'm bloody trying to. Fibers are found in flax bushes, thatch, and bark. There's lots of... I've got heaps of thatch. Do I have to, like, make some? Uh, crest clothing, armor, and rope, but also sticks found in dwarf spruces and by harvesting long sticks using crafting tools and building materials. Okay, uh, thank you for that one. <laughs> the wispy has told me that a lot of times. Because, look, this gives me thatch. But that doesn't count as the fibers that I that I need. I also need to find a dwarf spruce, which is like a little tree. Oh, it's glowing rocks. That's a that, that's a big firm. I don't have any tools just yet. I can punch a, a bloody active uh, sentient tumbleweed to death. I don't think I can punch a tree to death. It was getting late. In fact, it's so late now that the moon is coming up. So instead of harvesting materials the normal way, I harvested it through murder. Uh, you should now have everything you need. Got myself a fire going. Hold E to ignite. Look at that. See, look at that. Who was even worried? The giant bloody... I don't even know what. The giant tree monster out of Pacific Rim couldn't even stop me. You may have broke my boat, but you haven't broken my spirit. What do you want, Wispy? What do you want now? Now I've done the fire. Press T while looking at a simple fire to enter structure menu. So now open and upgrade. Uh, wait. From there, open the upgrade and add-on pages to upgrade the simple fire to a campfire. I need stones and yet more sticks. Campfire can be reused if refueled. It also can withstand wind better. Oh, the wind's a factor. Okay. Then the simple fire, however, rain and snow will put it out to search for ways to upgrade it further. So is this just like... Thank you. Is this just like my home now? Do I build my entire civilization around my first fire? I'm like Tom Hanks on that island. So I need four more sticks to upgrade my camp... Or so my simple fire to a campfire. But it's now the middle of the night and I can't see a sausage. Do, is, there, is there a way to... Oh, I just ate an egg. I had an egg from somewhere. Didn't even bloody realize, but all right then. Is there a way to make... Like a torch or something? I'm warm by the fire. Mm, oh. Info. Items. Wood. Material stone. 
No, okay. No, I... Oh, wait, wait, maybe blueprints? Tools? I need a torch. Torch, you look like a torch. Some... So I need rope and resin and... Oh, it sticks again. All right. I don't think I'm able to make a torch yet. I've turned up the gamma a little bit so I can actually see what I'm doing. It was real bloody dark away from my campfire. But I can see... I can see another tumbleweed floating a bit. I'm say, like it's a floating weed rather than a tumbleweed, but there's a good little bouncy of sticks. I heard... Oh, I heard someone growl at me. Yeah, it's a pissed off rosebush. Cop that. Oh, that was like a power attack. Oh, not now, Wispy. You really are like bloody Navi. You showed up every two seconds just to say g'day. It's fine. I know I need to upgrade my fire. Calm down. Here you go, fireplace. You can have the sticks. That was very bloody loud. Warmest welcome. All right, well, come on, Navi. Now, <laughs> you were yelling at me a second ago to do this. Now I've done it. You got nothing to say? You've also disappeared. So, all right, ne ne never mind then. We'll go back to the structures. Is this where I... Oh, wait, I've actually built. Oh, my goodness. Oh, okay. So, through the build menu is how you craft stuff, not through, like, the inventory menu. Stone axe, stone pickaxe, and a simple torch. I'm upset. <laughs> I could have done this to start with. I do need rope, which will be in here, I assume. Five times rope if I had a lot more fibers, but one rope. Get you going. Stone blade. I need some more pebbles. And then I can make myself a hoe. Then we can really live our life. Oh, Navi's showed up. Navi's got something to talk to me about. How I am. So <laughs> I just I just discovered this. Thank you. This would have been something to tell me right off the boat. Press me to open the build menu to craft a rope and a blade. Uh, you can find it under the materials category. Yeah, nah, cheese. Yeah, nah, cheese. I'll just banish your ghosty self back whatever realm you came from. I just need some pebbles. I'm, a, I'm on a very pebbly beach, but... Oh, there's one, but not a lot that I can actually take. I'll grab you. Oh, yeah, I'll grab you too. Look at that. I've got the ones I need. Oh, I guess I can hear the rattle of a tumbleweed though. Here we go, stone blade. Make one of you. What's going to be... Like the the most important one for me to make first. A wooden hammer, probably not. A stone knife. Used for skidding combat and fire starting. That ain't two ropes though. I reckon it's gotta be it's gotta be a stone axe, right? It's a survival crafting game. Like step one of any one of these games is always make a stone axe. So surely that is the right way to go. I'm gonna move you to there. Is that do I drink water automatically or? No, I feel less thirsty. Okay. Oh, I need to keep it on those bars. Got all those uh, those wheels down the bottom left that I hadn't paid attention to until right now. Okay. Got to keep my food up, my water up, and my temperature up. Although, I'm absolutely freezing at the moment. But look at that. I no longer feel as strong. Fuck off, you don't. You're cutting down a forest. How could you not feel strong? Oh, good morning. Day survived one. I mean, it was... Wasn't much of a day. I kind of landed at 6 p.m. It got dark very bloody quickly. Maybe this day is just moved real fast. I have a big long stick. Must be nice. First time for everything. But I've made myself this nice little... Nope, just there. Nice little pile of resources over here because old mate Navi over there is yelling at me to make... Ooh, some exterior lights. No, some... Shelter. Here we go. A cheeky little shelter. I need long sticks, rope... Wait... Regular sticks and bark. I have most of that behind me. Only three long sticks. I have four. But before I do that, I'm going to craft a couple ropes. But I also want to use... It was in you, I think. No, you. A grid tool used to flatten out terrain. Choose a point to be used as a height reference. Uh, requires a hoe. Oh, okay. So that's actually very much like Valheim. Get the hoe. You can level out the ground. Which I can't do right now. So instead, I'm just going to build some shelter. So it does require flattening. Okay. Actually, I actually kind of like that. Rather than just like it automatically doing it for you, you have to flatten the ground before you build. In that case then, can I build my little shelter somewhere that doesn't require flattening? Like if I choose a good spot, like right up on top of this hill right here, does that still require flattening? I mean, it's not exactly a flat spot at all, is it? All right, fine. All right, fine. I keep pressing tab. I'll build myself a hoe if you insist. Arlene, I need you. I have my hoe and I'm ready to go. I'm getting thirsty. Nah, you're not there, champ. Look, there you go. You're all good. Have some berries as well, because why not? Ate some fresh berries. Yep, food's going up. Can I eat some more 
some more eggs as well. I'm about to lose my eggs, actually. Get that in. I should not have ingested that. Uh-oh. No, I've got food poisoning. Ah, oh, you're the worst survivor ever. That egg wasn't even off yet. I've already... It's only been in my pocket for about 20 minutes. Wow. All right. How gross would I picked it up to start with then? Anyway, level the ground. So I do like you can just like go to like the area you want to build. And like with the trees, you can just hold R and it will harvest up the tree. With this, you just hold E and it will level out the ground. I'm feeling better. You beauty. Go to the back. So, oh, so I might actually have to move around a little bit more. Do the corner. Yeah, there you go. Are we good? Oh, still, still more leveling. It's much more involved than I thought, which I do actually like, even though I'm just a Galara about it. And it got sick of me being an idiot, and it's like, Oi, dickhead, this is the part you need to level, which I big time appreciated doing that for me. Missing the supplies. I wonder if there's like a... Like, do I have to drop them all directly into the construction zone, or can I just have them nearby? Probably going to take them all the way up, don't I? Yeah, so missing supplies. All right, fair enough then. Well, there you go. There's the first one. I'll go and get a couple of more. I really like this building stuff. Like how how this building mechanic is working. I actually really like it. It's more hands-on. It's more involved. And I'm sure like later on when you have like more people in your tribe, in your village working with you, you could assign them to do this and take the manual labor out of it. But being able to do it on my own, it makes a lot of sense. It's it, it, The path through building makes sense to me. I had to make myself a hammer, but I now have a hammer. Let's go around bonking some stuff. <laughs> Stop. Hammer time. Thank you for that one. I'm running out of stamina, though. How? Oh, I was going to say, there, was there like a progress bar I needed to keep a track of? But I don't think there was. Missing some supplies. What are you missing? You're missing another log. Okay, I got one. Here you go. Here's another big stick for you. Chuck you into there. What else are you missing? You're missing a bunch of little sticks. I don't, ooh, I don't think I'll need another long stick for you, so I'll harvest up this one. Please don't get lost in the grass, though. Trying to pick up sticks out of a, basically a haystack is not anyone's idea of a good time. Some firewood. Yeah, see, look, the stick, look, all the stuff gets lost amongst all the reeds, and I can't see it. I can't see things at the best of time. I don't need any extra hurdles. I got injured while working. Ultra splinter? I can, get, I can get a splinter from cutting down trees. That's actually pretty bloody sick. How do I... How do I fix my splinter? Do, do, is, was there tweezers in the boat or something? Can I use the wisp as a bright light to see through the back of the head and find out where it is? No longer feel as strong. Oh, no shit. You got a splinter in your body finger. Am I... I don't see any debuffs on my screen anymore. So maybe I'm not hurt anymore. Maybe I've got the splinter out. Take the bark. Take the, get the rest of the bark and the sticks as well. Resin. Yeah, there's lots of stuff. Lots of stuff comes out of trees. Oh, that's really cool. When you use like that Z button, that Ezio vision, it flattens down all the grass so you can see things a little bit. It still hides some stuff. It's a, it, it hit this, in, this ginormous bloody tree trunk in there. I just can't talk today. I, I can't. I can't put my words in any sort of order at all. But... That doesn't matter. Don't need to, don't need to speak too much. <laughs> don't need to speak too much when you're having a good time. Look, it's my birthday. Give me a break. I can get away with it today of all days. I like that it highlights things yellow as well. So it does push down the grass a little bit. But more importantly, it highlights the materials yellow in amongst all of this other stuff. Like there. Like there. It's hard to see sometimes, but it is definitely them. There's only so much hand holding it can do before it has to rely on you to not be a complete pelican. There you go. You can take that. Hold E to build with my trusty hammer. So, yeah, I'm not... I wasn't imagining that, right? There is no, like, progress bar on this. Oh, it is down the... I, I thought it was my stamina going down. All right. 9 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Beautiful. Here's a bunch of bark for you. You're going to need some more, but I've got plenty more down next to the fire down here. Look at this. Look how good we're doing. I'm the best at surviving. I've got my house. I can go to sleep. I can manage my house. Housing villages, villages that are already assigned to a household. So I build them houses and I can assign them to it. Nice, they can be dismissed. Villages that are homeless can be assigned to this household. Villages that are already have a household or the number of villages that can be housed here. Okay. All right. Fair enough then. I've got no workers at the moment. And I've got 
no homeless friends. I've got no friends at all. Upgrade or create add-ons to this structure. Dismantle the entire structure or any add-ons it might have. Well, I don't want to do that. I just spent all that, all that effort trying to build the bloody thing. Tearing it down immediately seems like a bad idea. You know what I do want to do, though? Terrain leveling field. Build you. Okay, so place starting point. Hot, rotate left, rotate right. So I want to make just like the area in front of my house is a little bit flatter so I can put a campfire down right in front of where I live. Start points. Out to... Ah, oh, home sweet home. I'm now sheltered, you bloody beauty. Out to them. End point. Confirm. So then if I get my hoe and I start... Here, yeah, there we go. Level you. Up you come. Invalid cell. Why invalid cell? Because it's too close to my house, baby? Mm, probably, but that's all right. I just need it to be a little bit level. In fact, that probably works out just fine. That's that's perfect. Bonza. I dismantled my campfire and it gave me most of my materials back, which I'm a big fan of. Grab all of you. I'm going to build a fresh one. G'day, Wispy. How you doing? What do you got to tell me? Oh, oh, oh. I'm slipping and sliding all over this mossy rock. What do you got to tell me today? Part of the settlement, press B to open build menu and build the Eye of Odin. The Eye of Odin is an ancient artifact that helps you gather your tribe by using Jotun blood. You can activate and choose one of two villages to summon. Enemies are, dr Ooh, enemies are drawn to the power of the Eye of Odin. It's often the main focus of invasions. Protect it as it's the only way to summon your tribe. Nice. Okay, so what, we're going to get like raids and stuff like that? Like horde attacks? Nice. Nice. Jeez, the days move quick, but I've leveled out a little bit more. Yeah, that looks perfect right about there. Leveled out a little bit more of the ground in front. Oh, piss off, Nafi. I know. I know. Just give us a moment. Uh, e to level you. Got a bit more space to move out here to build my campfire properly. Chuck everything in. I'm missing a couple of sticks, but there's probably some around. Oh, look at all the resources. Some around here somewhere. There's a couple there that I missed before. I'll grab you. Was there more? There you are. Look, everything gets hidden. It's like a little treasure trove right next to my house. Look at all the sticks. Right, there we go. Got my campfire up and going. Can I have a little snooze? Go to sleep. Perfect. Look at that. It gets warm by the fire. We can see the ocean. Dude, ocean views. This is like a million dollar apartment in Melbourne. This is, this should go for so much. It's even got two walls. Pristine. So while I'm sleeping, I actually get my health back, which I really bloody like. I'm getting an energy boost as well. I'm pumping out those Zeds, having a cheeky little snooze. Just <laughs> as the wisp creepily watches me from the shrubs outside. But put the binos away and either come and join me for a snuggle and keep me warm. What are you doing out there? What are you... Just a sketchy little blue orb. Just peeking through the windows. I know the bloody shouty Christmas ornament wants me to build an Eye of Odin, but I'm going to need a rain catcher first. I'm going to have to make sure my fluids are up and good. I might even build you like just there. That's actually the perfect spot for it. In you go. I do need to I do need to level you a little bit, but that's okay. Boop, boop. Oh, no, that's less okay. That's not level. In... What fucking s- Oi, you're a spirit. Can I put you into a bar to make a spirit level? What spirit level are you using? That's gone awful. You broke- You broke the ground out of my house. No, nah, no. Nah, I'm, I'm going to dismantle you. Confirm. Get rid of you. I'll take my sticks back, please. Take you. I love- I just realized now. I love that there's a whole bunch of stuff on my back. Like the things I'm actually carrying. That's really bloody cool. What's not cool though is you just broke my ground. I gotta, I gotta fix you now. Oh my goodness. The weather has turned. It's so foggy now. That's really cool. That like ghostly, like windy noise coming from behind and gave me the heebie-jeebies and look what rolled in off the ocean. I, re I really like the ground leveling tool as well. I really like having like the patches you go and swack to, uh, yeah, that's definitely a word, swack. I was going for swack, but missed the mark. What I did miss, though, is all the green patches to level out the ground for me. All right, let's try this again. Let's get you nice and good like that. E to level. E to level you too, please. Boop, there we go. You're on the piss again, but at least the ground is straight. Or is it just on the piss like that because I haven't built it yet? It's not actually the final blueprint. Yeah, it's, it's, it's going to be okay. It's all right. I'll put you together. We'll see what you are then. Then we'll judge you. Uh-oh. A storm is coming. I need to find some shelter. I'm 
Very quickly just trying to grab what little resources I've chucked onto the beach down here and move them up to somewhere close to the home. But if it's oh, but it's raining though. It's gonna put out my fire. More important, my rain collector isn't actually finished yet. Uh, you get out of my pockets, please. The inventory system's a little bit hangy going, but it's alright, I can manage. Okay, I need. No, stop eating things and where's your body axe? That button there. Okay, I need to cut down another tree because I need some more everything's actually. Oh no, Thor's gonna get mad. I'm not ready for you yet, Thor. Just hold on. I'm almost there. I'm almost there. I'm almost there. My fire's gone out. You dick, Thor. Chuck all of that into you. Hold E to build. Collect some of this juicy, juicy rain, please. I'm gonna need it very quickly. I'm starting to get a little bit thirsty. Wispy boy is still just watching from the reeds and giving absolutely no help. You're made of flame. Come and keep me warm, please. There you go. Look at that. Look at all the juicy fluids. Drink you. Slurp, slurp, slurp like it's an all syrup squishy. Oh, we're looking good now. Okay. I have shelter. Can I... Hang on a second. Can I face this way? V. Sits. <laughs> sure. <laughs> You're not quite under the roof, but I'll give you a pass. Is there a way that I could build a, uh, like a shelter or something? Just a little like hutch over the top of my fire to keep it going? I don't. Or maybe I can actually, can I just upgrade you to do that? You, upgrade options. Don't show this again. Thank you. Fire cover. Here we go. You need sticks, bark, and rope. And then I can make a barbecue. Oh, wait. All right. I'm going to build the, the fire cover first. It's literally the thing I was asking for. There's lots of bark around, so I'll grab that. Can't ignite wet wood. No, don't add the fuel. I want to build the, the thing. There you go. What are you missing? You're missing more sticks and a lot of rope. Ugh. I can't turn thatch into rope, but I really wish I could. Oh, actually, maybe I can. Hold R to harvest. Oh, and you... Oh, my goodness. And you do turn into fibers. Okay. That makes it a whole lot easier. I didn't realize I could do that. Where, like, I had to throw it out of my inventory onto the ground to tear it apart into more fibers, but... That's really good. That's really That makes rope so much easier to get. I thought I had to go murder a whole bunch more floating tumbleweeds to get what I needed. Nah, that's sick. All right. That, that's good. I'm happy. Tell you what. The mornings are pretty nice. I, I really like the atmosphere of this game so far. Like, I love the weather. I love the weather changes. I love the, uh, the audio design of everything. It feels... Oh! <laughs> Let's not test the Valheimers yet. It is Viking themed after all, so I assume I'm just as squishy as any other time. But yeah, I like, I keep getting transfixed and distracted by just like the environment that I'm in, which is a really good thing. I like that. Got everything I need for my fire cover. I can just bonk you together. Lovely, lovely. I keep like, oh, ouch, another splinter? Dude, wear some gloves or something for goodness sake. But I keep getting distracted by just like the world that I'm in. Like the environment, the sound design, and just like the views I've got. I'm, I'm really enjoying it. I'm so glad I built my little shelter just slightly up on a ridge so I do have a pretty good view of all of my surrounds. I really like it. I really, really like this world that I'm in. All right, you peeping wispy Tom. What do you got for me now? You still want me to make the bloody uh, Eye of Odin? Yeah, I gotcha. I gotcha. It's all good. I know you'll remind me in five more minutes like I press snooze on the alarm. But just relax a little bit. All right. I reckon. I reckon that's a pretty good spot to leave it just for now. I'm having an absolute ball. I'm having an absolute ball playing Asuka. So I'll absolutely come back and play some more. I knew it was going to be good. I was hoping it would be good, but so far it is just surpassing my expectations, so I can't put it down. I'm going to have to play some more, but I'll have to come back and continue to play this brand new Viking survival game that has friends, which makes me excited, in the next episode because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the patrons of Patreon who made this episode possible. If you liked, make sure you hit the like button down below and subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. But I'll talk to you there first. I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.